On 22nd January, Pran Pratishtha ceremony of the Ram Mandir took place, attended by many VIPs. But four Sankacharyas, who hate the four Hindu Mats or monasteries in Dwarka, Gujarat, Josimat, Uttarakhand, Puri, Odisha, and Sringiri, Karnataka, didn't attend the consecration ceremony, as the Pran Pratishtha of Ram Temple is being conducted in an incomplete temple. Sankaracharya of Puri, Nishchalanda Sarsavati said that the ceremony is not following the rules of Hindu scriptures. <laughs> Sankaracharya Swami Avimuktes Varanand of Uttarkhand said, The temple is the body of God, and the peak of the temple is his eyes. The pot is the head, and the flag hole is his hair. It is not right to instill life or pran prasista in the body without its head or eyes, which is against religious scriptures. <laughs> और प्रतिष्ठा की जा रही है कोई ऐसी परिस्थिति नहीं है कि अपने को अचानक कर देना पड़े ये हमको कहना ही पड़ेगा पूछे जाने पर कि ये ठीक नहीं है अब यही हम कह रहे हैं तो हमको कहा जा रहा है कि ये लोग तो विरोधी हैं एंटी मोदी हैं why the presence of shankaracharya was important to understand that we have to look who are shankaracharyas just like the supreme court of india is the final authority when it comes to interpreting the constitution. The Sankaracharyas are the supreme authority in Hinduism for interpreting Hindu scriptures. Sankaracharya is the title given to the head of a monastic order associated with Advaita Vedanta tradition, which was founded by Adi Sankara in the early 8th century CE. Adi Sankara was an influential philosopher and theologian who is credited with consolidating the doctrine of Advaita Vedanta, a major school of thought in Hindu philosophy. He played a significant role in the revival of Hinduism. His four cardinal mots located at north, south, east and west is seen as keepers of Hindu faith and traditions. So presence of four Sankaracharyas was immensely important. If the ceremony was conducted after completion of Ram Mandir, they would have definitely attended it. Now you say, is it a political gimmick ahead of the crucial Lok Sabha election that is scheduled in April-May this year.